We all love driving down the highway blasting music, but if your car speakers aren't up to snuff, you might have wished you optioned the better audio system. Introduced in the 1920s, car audio systems have become an essential part of the driving experience. In fact, they're so common nowadays that the only cars that really don't have them are more expensive, track-focused versions of exotics. And you usually have to pay extra if you want to remove them. From the perspective of a car company, having an option for an upgraded sound system is a great way to make some extra money on a sale. It's something both car enthusiasts and regular consumers generally want and are willing to pay extra for. For the car manufacturer, a good way to make this sale is by associating the sound system with a high-end audio brand. Today, we're going to look at the history and science behind these car audio partnerships and some of the noteworthy examples that have popped up over the years. There are so many challenges in creating a good car audio system because there's things like road noise, vibrations, seats in the way, and you're in a pretty small space. As we've mentioned before, car audio systems have been around for a long time, but that doesn't necessarily mean they were very good. Earlier systems traditionally just had a single speaker attached directly to the radio. But in the 70s, stereo systems with multiple amplifiers and speakers started playing 8-tracks and cassettes, which drastically improved the experience. But these systems weren't always sold by the OEMs, with many people opting for aftermarket systems that were likely better than the original. GM responded to these modders in the 70s by accepting a deal with Bose to produce one of the first hi-fi audio systems in a car. For the first time from an OEM, a car's sound system would be tailored specifically to the car's interior and road noise. This system was sold as an $895 option, about $3,000 today, and was a smash hit with both consumers and reviewers alike. The sales of this option far exceeded GM's expectation, and it kickstarted a trend that continues today. But what made that system stand out? Or rather, what makes any sound system stand out? Well, there's actually a lot of things you need, and many of them work together to give you a really high quality sound. First, if you can reduce unwanted road noise with sound deadening, your listening experience is going to be a lot better. And that's completely independent of the speaker itself. Because of this, a luxury car with more sound deadening and maybe a worse stereo system may end up sounding better than a lower end car with a higher end option. And in any speaker system, reducing unwanted vibrations can make a big difference. The only things you want vibrating are the cones of the speaker and your eardrums. Moving on to the more obvious thing, the quality of the speakers. And this is where some of these high-end audio brands can jump in to help. The goal of any speaker system is to reproduce the recorded sound as accurately as possible. Speakers with a wider frequency response can produce sounds closer to the full range of frequencies the human ear can hear. These dedicated audio companies have spent years engineering and testing their cones and enclosures to provide the clearest and most accurate sound possible. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. A lot of manufacturers have differing opinions on the best materials for cones, but the one thing they can agree on is that the more expensive materials are generally better. Another hallmark of a great system is the layout of the speakers. Ideally, you want your sound system to produce a cohesive image of the music with different voices and audio coming from different locations of the system. When you're watching a band play live, all the musicians are going to be in different places playing at different volumes, and you want to replicate that experience in your car. There are a million other aspects of sound we could talk about, but we're going to stop it at this one to keep things concise. But there's also another elephant in the room. One of the biggest factors in making a good car audio system is just how much money and time car manufacturers spend developing it for a specific model. Most car companies aren't setting out to make the best car audio system, though. They're more interested in making a bit of money. So a lot of these collaborations don't invest too heavily in the R&D. It kind of ends up being like a glorified product placement. Back to the wider world of cars. As you've probably noticed, there are a ton of these collaborations. Inspired by the success of the GM and Bose partnership, many other manufacturers scrambled to find partnerships just to get that little bit of extra money when they're making their sale. Let's talk about a few of these partnerships and why they stand out from the rest. First, let's talk about the cream of the crop, the Bowers and Wilkins partnership with Volvo. Volvo and Polestar owners rave about the system's incredible clarity, thick bass, and great balance. Bowers and Wilkins makes a specific point to say that their team is partners from the ground up with Volvo throughout the entire process. Generally about a $3,200 option, Volvo owners say this is a must. There's also Name Audio, which has been a Bentley partner since 2008. They tout that they perform an acoustic analysis on each car and that they use a digital signal processor solution to provide the best sound. There are some mixed reviews on this one, but most regard it as one of the most premium options. Another worthwhile mention is Mark Levison. This brand has partnerships with BMW and Lexus, 
and sets itself apart with its quantum logic surround to provide 3D audio, which I think is a bit gimmicky. A lot of brands talk about specific tech to increase immersion, but most of the time it's very vague. Not to say that it isn't great, but a lot of the time it can seem really fishy. The idea of audio immersion is a really good selling point though. I definitely would pay a little bit extra if I was promised more immersion with a higher quality sound system. Definitely a more luxurious experience. To do this, a lot of premium options offer almost double the count of speakers. But do more speakers actually equal more better? In a car, the answer is often yes. With more speakers, the listening experience is generally more consistent no matter where you're sitting in the car, and it allows you to have more dedicated speakers for certain frequency responses. But a lot of brands seem like they're just using this as a marketing tactic for their 3D or 4D audio. Moving on, another fun mention is Beats Audio, offered in both Chrysler and VW products. It's definitely a product of its time, and most people don't have great things to say about it. It's definitely an upgrade from the standard system, but its biggest selling point is usually the marketing and the celebrity endorsement. This option feels a lot more dated just because Beats has kind of fallen off in the past few years. Another option that has a pretty great reputation is Harman Kardon. I've had BMWs with the Harman Kardon system option before, and now it's always something I look for. But Harman Kardon isn't as exclusive as you may think. Their technology is in a ton of cars, including BMW, Subaru, Maserati, and a bunch more. While only branded as a Harman Kardon system in some cars, this Samsung-owned company has some of the most partnerships we've found. And this doesn't include some of the other brands it owns, including Bang & Olufsen, Infiniti, and Mark Levison. On the other side, let's talk about a brand with a crazy first partnership. Burmester has an incredible reputation as an audio brand, but they never collaborated with a car manufacturer until the Bugatti Veyron. Bugatti went out of their way to talk about this as a world-class system providing you the best sound at any speed. How much will this option run you? Mmm, just $50,000, but that's a drop in the pond when you're specking your Veyron. Ending with a fun one, there's the partnership between Lincoln and THX. Fully THX certified, these companies set out to create the ultimate in-vehicle audio system. Did they do it? Well, while most give it a passable or good rating, there are a lot of better audio systems out there. Although, it is the only audio system that does this when you start the car. Just kidding, but that would be fun. Car audio partnerships are so common nowadays, and new partnerships seem to be popping up every year. While some are probably a marketing gimmick, there are a lot of great systems that have come from these partnerships that are definitely worth the extra price tag. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.